asking you. About having a cheater on your how, how Everybody you can see. Okay, I'm talking to you. I'm not talking about you. So if you're anything like me, I've been watching Love and Marriage Huntsville since season one. And I always wondered, what the fuck, Letitia? Why is everyone always against her? Why is she with a man who obviously disrespects her and she makes excuses for him? So now I am curious. We're going to look all up in her human design. And I'm going to let you know what I see. But before we get into that, I'm Dr. Naima. I help you answer the question, who am I using human design? First and foremost, and I've said this before in other readings, she has a five in her profile. People always make us wrong. I'm a five too. People project on us who they think we need to be and who, or who we are. And when we don't meet that expectation, we become the fucking enemy. And we see that constantly. She's always trying to defend her position, who she is, why she makes the decisions she makes. The life of a five. <laughs> Secondly, in her sun gate, the way that she shines is in gate 18. That's the gate of correction. She likes to fix things. So it doesn't surprise me that she's with a man who keeps her broken. What she does is now she tries to keep fixing herself. She tries to meet his expectations because it must be something wrong with her, right? And what further is that? When you look at her design Mars line, 45.3, having that 0.3, that three line in her Mar, design Mars, she has the primary genetic trauma, trauma of shame. She does not find herself valuable. She knows that she's different from other people. And people with this primary genetic trauma, they often enter into sacrificial relationships where they're trying to prove themselves over and over again to people who are not even worth their time, a.k.a. her husband. I remember, I don't know, I think it was season two where they were having a disagreement, her and her husband, and he said something to the effect of, yeah, because your family's from the other side of the track, indicating that they're poor they're nothing he keeps her unstable which further lets her know that she's different from other people and she's not valuable so her fucking projector ass as many of us projectors do we stay in these toxic ass relationships because we have a low ass self-worth her husband is literally a bitch ass who's involved in everybody's business he says everything that comes to his mind but the moment she speaks up for herself he puts her down in front of everybody he destabilizes her and the fact that she's a projector with the genetic trauma of shame and the sun gate of 18 she thinks something is wrong with her and also an undefined ego center she's trying to prove that she's worthy to a man who's going to keep destabilizing her did i miss anything 